Hello guys. Um, welcome to my channel again. This is Brosby here talking to you. Um, you know, the news of um, AY and his wife, Mabel, um, separation is lo no longer news. I think I picked up the news um, about a month ago, I believe, when um, the, the rumors started flying around and, you know, they came out to deny it and all of that. Apparently, it, it's gone official now. I mean, I would I say the word allegedly now is gone official because um there's this statement made by uh Mabel on our official page and which I'm gonna share with you to the end. Please, that's the reason you have to stay to the end till the end of this video because she put out a statement and I'm gonna read it out to you. I'm I'm, fine. I'm gonna share the screen with you. So don't don't log out at all, don't even go anywhere. And if you are joining me for the very first time, please do share and subscribe to this channel because I give you updates and every each and every time it comes out. So AY, the popular comedian and his beautiful wife, they've separated, and an official statement has, has been made. And you know, allegedly, as at is at is usually is the case when two Couples, I mean, with the couple, they want to, they are having challenges in their in their marriages or in their in their in their relationship. Loved ones around them, family and friends, and all of that come together to try to intervene to see if they can um, uh, put a stop or you know nip the whole thing in the whole wala in the butt in the mud in in the bud. So apparently, our our friends want they come together, let he help more. Okay. okay. And guys, and all of that, and all of that. So people come in and try to intervene and um to do their little bit to see if they can resolve uh resolve the whatever wahala between them. So what I'm gonna share with you now is a story that I picked up from Stella. Uh, is it Stella Dakoko or Stella Mokola or something? I picked this story up um on how different people made efforts to intervene and resolve um the war between ay and his um and, and his wife because according to the statement the the uh, maybe a put out he actually referred to ay as his ex husband which is unbelievable for this beautiful couple anyway let me share the screen so that we will read it together and um, i'm sure you will be interested in in what is going on and we don't wish them bad we don't wish them evil we wish every every relationship should be successful and um still do them part but hey things do happen how and what led to all of this i believe every side has got their own fair share of the problem because no one can come out and say oh i'm innocent oh i'm this i'm no no listen you did this to me she did that to me that is all long story every one of them i believe have got their own fair share of what led them to this separation. Anyway, without much ado, let me share the screen and we will read this together. Bear with me. So that is the first one. And it goes, friends allege that the, the madame of the house suddenly started returning home um, at ungodly hours and always dressed in a very, very short attire. Sometimes she will come in at 2 a.m or 3 a.m., and she had no apologies or stories to back up her behavior. On one of those um, nights, and uh, as she stepped in, the laugh maker, you, you, I guess, I'm, I'm sure you know who we are referring to as the laugh maker, was waiting for her, and when she came in, he asked her where she was coming from. But she told him, point blank, that she owed him no explanation, and he raised his voice on her with a threat. She ran outside and stayed there for a while and made that first post on Instagram that went viral. Um, you remember that post? Insiders alleged that the, the post went really viral and friends immediately rallied around to save the situation and embarrassing follow, uh, follow up. A top and well-connected friend visited and had a moment with Madame, and she was asked what the laugh maker did that made her want to leave. She allegedly said she was tired 
and wanted more and he had he had nothing to offer her. wow jesus christ <laughs> she wanted more and she claimed she had he had nothing to offer her wow hello <laughs> are you sitting there guys she had nothing he had nothing to offer her she claimed he had seized the car but that but that was not so so she claimed the um, husband sees the car, but um, we were told that wasn't so. So let me go to the second page. The second page, which I'm going to read for you now. So the second page goes, um, the friend convinced both of them and took them out for a dinner to try to make peace. But that dinner went seriously south. And while trying to talk, Madame shut down the laugh maker and he quietly left after a mini verbal bruhaha. Another time, the laugh maker was seated in the living room waiting for her with their baby on his lap. Wow, that's true. They, they, they recently have a had a baby and... Ah, Jesus. So she left the baby in the house with the with the husband and, you know, just left it at that. I mean, hey, if I'm going to lay any fault at, at anybody's feet, I mean, if you ask me, I say that, that is totally out of order. Who does that? As a mother, whatever problem you're having with your husband, why would you abandon your baby and just go a wall and that's it? I don't understand. Anyway, hey, let me continue reading. And she stepped in around 2 a.m. And there they had a verb, a, they had verbal altercations and words were exchanged. Madame allegedly told him if he sees the car, new one would arrive the next day. Hmm. Oh God. Oh God. Friends rally around again, and eight peacemakers took the uh, fighting couple to dinner. Eight peacemakers, wow, to dinner and had a long talk with them. At the dinner with the eight friends present, peace was reached, and both parties apologized to each other, and their friends promised to fly them to the final of Af Afcon in a private jet if Nigeria made it to finance. Both Madame and, and the laugh makers excitedly said it would be great to attend. When Nigeria made it to finance, all plans, all plans were made, but Madame did not show up at the airport and did not pick up her phone and was nowhere to be seen. And the friends who had arranged several peace meetings officially backed out, um, officially backed out, out of the scenario. Hmm. Ah, my goodness. So, so going to page three of, of, of this slide now. <clears throat> this is serious. This is, is very, very serious. <sighs> hey, why? Oh, God. Anyway, continue on page three. Meanwhile, Madame continued with the mate with the late night and allegedly boasted that if she wanted a house in Banana Island, she would get it. She always arrived home with police escort to pick up things, and Love Maker was spotted always making videos of events as a spectator. So he was documenting, <laughs> the, the husband was documenting everything while the wife came, usually comes in the middle of the night, the way out of the night with police escort. And meanwhile, I'm guessing now the baby is still with the husband. So the, <laughs> ah, she allegedly came and went as she pleased and could not be questioned. On a Monday, two weeks ago, she packed her things and said she was leaving and nobody could stop her. Laugh Maker's elder sister allegedly tried to talk sense into Madame, but she said 
that the marriage was no longer the same because his behavior had pushed her to do things that she could not undo. What does that even mean? That the husband's behavior has pushed her to do things she could not undo. That speaks volume. What could that have been? With another man? Blah, 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 blah. Put your dots together. Connect the dot. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? So she's gone through it. She can't undo it. She's, I mean, that's what she, she allegedly said. Now, she packed and zoomed off with her friend in tow and a police escorting her to her new destination. She also informed Laugh Maker that she had contacted a lawyer to see to the divorce. The new man is whispered to be someone in government in Lagos State. It is also alleged that Madame briefly romanced a big brother Niger housemate, but the affair ended when the Laugh Maker warned the reality TV star to stay away from his wife or get what uh, is coming for him. Ah, Orishi Rishi. Like they say, Orishi Rishi. This is the definition uh, of Orishi Rishi. Now, friends who try to make peace says, say the blame to the marriage break up is 50-50. But the love maker was too in love with his wife to notice that someone else come to his tree to pluck his fruit. Someone else has been coming to his tree to pluck his fruit. He's so much in love, he doesn't even realize that. Now, Insider says that those praying for them to come back as a couple should change their prayer point because things are falling apart and the center can no long, long, no, can no long, cannot hold again. Things fall apart and the center cannot hold. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now, you remember I said to you, um, according to what I'm, I picked up online, this their separation seems to be uh, official now. So this is coming from Re, uh, Mabel Marcon's uh, page. And this is the statement she put out. And she goes, I want to express my sincere gratitude for the supportive messages that I have received from everyone. However, my silence should not be misunderstood and also the father of my children. Did you, can you notice that? The father of my children, whom I have been with for some years, deserves a certain level of respect and privacy from me and all the concerned parties. Most importantly, because of our children, whose mental health and general well-being should be uh, prioritized. Uh, rightly so. Many lies have been peddled against me an attack orchestrated on the social media uh, space, but I will honor my kids with my silence and can and not address any of these lies. Although my dreams of a lifelong uh, marriage are taking a different direction now, I am committed to moving forward with grace and, sil and resilience. I have faith in a brighter future for both myself and the children. <laughs> she did not even include the <laughs> the husband in this in this case now. Anyway, despite the rumors or opinions, I find comfort in the belief that all will be well. While it's it's unexpected for things to end this way, I quietly ask for guidance from my faith as I step into this new ch chapter of life. Also, as we navigate this change, I ask for your help in creating an atmosphere of respect and understanding. This is a challenging period, and I ask for privacy and consideration as we, did you notice that? My ex-husband and I find our fate, our own path forward. I wish him the very best in his journey as well. God bless us all. That is, that was from me, that was, from Mabel's page. I'll give you time to read, read it through. So, 
that was from Mabel. And this is just very, very sad. The question is, what is exactly happening in this, uh, in the, in the, in this um, situation? There are some, yeah, several of them coming out now, their marriage going the other way, and everything seems to go pear-shaped. So let's focus on A.Y. and Mabel's wife. Based on what we've read so far online, and I can tell you, there's no saint amongst them. The side A is uh, as God his own fault. Side B, side B, I'm talking about the wife now. As I mean, she has her own faults too. None of them is perfect. But we've heard a lot of rumors about domestic violence and all of that. And I will be the first to say to any woman that if you are in a relationship that has got domestic violence mixed up with it, pack your bags and go. From day one, if you notice that, just pack your bag and leave the place. Leave the marriage. Leave, I mean, you can still be together or whatever, but you know, live your separate life. Because I particularly have zero tolerance for domestic violence. Now, I'm not saying their case is I've got to do about domestic violence. I don't know. I'm just talking based on what I read online. What I read online has got uh, some stories of domestic violence mixed up with their own situation. So that is just where me personally I'm coming from. So, Tiobawa, Ninule, Okwati Yawo, Ti Yawe Banoe, that was sound a bit ridiculous for people. Yeah, it does happen. I, there are so many wives out there that beat their husband up. Now, also, likewise, if you are in a marriage, if you are in a, in a marriage and your husband beats you regularly, you've got no reason to stay in that marriage. You've got to pack your bag and leave. I'm not saying you should divorce him. You can arrange for yourself to stay somewhere else and live your life, and you can only be alive to keep your life and, uh, and and protect your kids. You don't want to stay in a in a in a in a in a abusive marriage because of your kids. No, you got to be alive to take care of your kids. And staying in an abusive relationship is not the way to do it. You got to opt out of it. So that's just my own bit about a about this when it comes to. Uh, domestic violence. Anything outside domestic domestic violence, I will be the first that will tell any woman, where are you going? Where are you going? Are you going to leave your husband because um, he's, he's having a relationship? Is that going to be your excuse? Is that your excuse in here? Is that what you're going to tell people? Okay, fair enough. Is that if that is going to be your excuse? My next question would not be, where are you going to go to? But about your question, let me to the phone call or bearing in below the fellow after. Where are you going to go to? Are you going to remain single forever and ever? If that's the case, then fair enough. By the question, look fair if your question let to the ma Lord that duro to only nickel conship and look on a common. That is okay. However, if you if <laughs> if you have the intention of okay, you're going to leave your husband and you're going to get involved with another man, then something is terribly wrong with you. Yes, and that is not even an insult. So I question of if your question to the and my mindset intention and equal to have you or I love fair or me, then. Something is wrong with you. And why am I saying that? What do you think is going to happen in the new relationship you're going into? What do you think is going to happen? When it is well known that most men will cheat. So, if you now go to the next relationship, what tells you is not going to be even be worse than where you're coming from? 
How do you know? It's not going to be even worse than where you're coming from. Even if it's not worse than where you're coming from, even if it's on the same level where you're coming from. The same reason you left your husband, the first one, this new one is doing the same thing. So what are you going to do again? Tell me. What are you going to do? Leave him again? Leave the second one again? For who? For who? For another man? Really? Okay. Third one. What is going to happen if he start doing the same thing? Even probably worse than the first two. Kilo de marche at that point. If you call the first one, see, let to repay on Kobiri. O fellow, O law fell calling me. Tinya no ban Kobiri, because we know most of our Kobiri, O my Kobiri. If you talk about it, enough wisdom, to okay, there is no point. Kilo on waka kere, you know, it's full of stress and all of that. So, to about the logic, you know, on Kobiri, at the same level, we look at official, or even worse than look at official, Kilo Mashi, O my Tinya no sile. To about Tinya no sile. Bolo to fair law again. I want to go to the third one. The third one. In yet yet one war si ju first to law. In yet one koko biyani. In yet no more no ya at the same time ni. Abaye son. Atu ma fudu ek bwa kon wawo mwen. Atu fe ba son. Then. So. So. Can you guys see where, where I'm coming from with this? So. My standpoint is. You can leave your husband if um, he's laying his hands, hands on you. That's okay. Hey, I'm up for that. But it doesn't make any sense to leave your man, to leave your marriage, to leave your kids, all because your husband goes about town with different women. It doesn't make any sense. If you just take your time and think about this critically, it does not make any sense. Because where you are going to, there is high probability that the same thing is going to happen again. So what are you going to do at that point? Of your court, the first one, say, to the point called Bini, while of fair calling me. And Bubuala de Mapwe, there is high possibility. Be the same three reasons to she feel the first one. Sile, no, Nioshima, Lumato Shele, need the second marriage. Kilo de Toshima fi, marriage, yes, sile. Toma fi, our moe, sile. Toma fi, Bubon Cottage, build together for over 20 years, sile. For bearing me to not come into your folds, into your matrimonial home, and take over. Why? Why? Either you like it or not, the father is still the, the, the man is still the father of the kids. And one way or the other, they will still have one or two things to do with their dad. But they will now be at the mercy of the new woman in, the, in his life. Would you want to subject your kids, your children, to to kind of a treatment? What kind of impact do you think it will have on your kids? But to ba lo. To ba ba e e lo si bo mi. O ko e e lo si le okunin yi mi. Shofè ko an mwè te li ra e Ok, to ba ko an mwè te li ra e in the no, no man's land. They are the mercy of the new man to fè. Shou, the new man is, shou ma treat an mwè bi baba an shi ma treat an I'm asking you. Perhaps, so bad the people, okay, oh, quite on my lossy lay or quite to fair, to fair on my silly, they lay that one. That one, of course, we marry another woman. To bad the fair another woman. Then, is the new woman going to treat, she might treat her on my, the way you want them to be treated? Think about it. So, why to she might have matrimonial home, my silly? Because, I mean, for the sake of, I mean, of, of, of flimsy things like that. And you, or oh, I allow Obini in me, go replace her. Because there are several women out there, they, without thinking twice, they will jump in and replace you. And they will sit tight. 
And they would not even care if your husband sleeps around or not. Why? Because the experience of life has taught them enough to have sense that you don't leave your man, you don't abandon your kids, you don't abandon your home, you don't abandon your marriage, all because your husband is a womanizer. You don't. You do not. It does not make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. Stay in your home. Do not allow any... There are so many women out there, they will jump at every opportunity to replace you. They will. And you will be the one to lose out. Your children will suffer either side. Either you take them with you or they stay with their parents. Physically, they will suffer. Psychologically, they will suffer. Emotionally, they will suffer. Because things will never remain the same again. Who told you that's the, 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 the best reason to leave your home, to leave your matrimonial home? The home you put together for over 20 years and you left your home, abandoned your kids, abandoned your kids, abandoned your marriage, abandoned every sacrifice you've made ever in your life, all because your man is a womanizer. You abandoned everything. And all of a sudden, because according to Mibe now, oh, it's, it's no longer, what was the word again? Tolono. So, it's not a case of tit for tat. At the end of the day, it will not look bad. 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 It will not look In a climb, it will not look bad. It will not look bad. It will not look bad. But who's going to talk about a woman like that? I'm alone here, I'm not alone here. I'm alone here, I'm not alone here. Then the man who wants to fail or fail, is he a single man? Is he a single man? It's probably another man's, another woman's husband. You left your home. You left your kids. You abandoned your kids, your baby. You abandoned your baby. Maybe. Anyway, um, that's just my own contribution uh, uh, on this. Perhaps if you disagree with me, please make a comment in the comment section. I want to hear from you. Tell me if I'm wrong. Tell me if I'm getting this wrong, totally wrong. And correct me if you can, please. And just let's be civil here. Let's be respectful. Because it's really sad to hear this beautiful couple going their separate ways over something like this. If it's got to do with domestic violence, I will be the first to tell her to leave. I will even be help her to even pack her bags. But if it's just purely about um, infidelity on the husband's side, you can't leave your husband, you can't leave your home, you can't leave your marriage because of that. And for men that took, I mean, that takes their women for granted. I mean, look at this. Look at this. For the fact that a woman is docile, a woman is obedient, a woman is um, submissive, doesn't necessarily mean that you not take liberty for stadium and say you can do whatever you like. Ah, you know, come on. You are taking the woman for granted. One day, one morning, one hour, one second, she will just wake up and flip. And that's, that will be the end. Yeah, she, she was going to suffer. Yeah, without a doubt. Go ask all the ones out there that, that, that have left their home and they have left their husband. They've got stories to tell. Unfortunately, they will not come out and say the truth, what they are going through. Because they must have gone through all sorts of foolish, 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 they will not come and tell you the truth. So those ones that is that were, they will come into your home and take over your matrimonial home. Life has taught them a lot of things, and they they are a lot wiser now. Only experience is the best teacher. Experience, as they say, is the best teacher. And the question is, if the best teacher teach uh, t uh, teaches you, or what's the word now? <laughs> Say, for instance, the best, the best teacher in the world uh, 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 teach you, uh, taught you mathematics, and you failed. 
Do you understand? Uh, people going to blame the teacher. Don't forget, that's the best teacher of mathematics in the world. The best mathematics teacher, mathematics teacher in the world taught you mathematics and you failed. You think they're going to blame the teacher? No, they're going to blame you. So when they now say experience is the best teacher, those ones that are, that are sitting down pretty, they don't even care if your husband is piling women on, on top of each other. Experience of life has taught them that, listen, you don't leave a man because of this. You just stay put. Keep your family, keep your home, keep your marriage, put your kids together. Don't put them into all those traumatic situations and put a lid on it. You might devise your own coping mechanism that, okay, it can be used in protective, whatever, whatever, whatever. But stay in your home, you must. Don't leave your home because of that. The only reason I will agree or support any woman to leave their home is because of domestic violence, period. That's it. Tell me if I'm wrong in the comment section. And if you are yet to subscribe to my channel, please, I don't know what you are still waiting for. There is still more to share with you guys. Go to the comment section now, make a comment I want to hear from you and subscribe. So in the meantime, I would say hope is not lost. Let's keep praying for them and wishing them well. We Let's uh, um, respect their privacy. And in our own secret moment, let's pray for them. Hopefully, and hopefully, uh, maybe I said she's done something that cannot be redone. I don't know what that means. Let's just continue <laughs> to pray for them and uh, for God to intervene in their matter and in our matters too. Until then, go and subscribe. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.